Hi, my name is Zubin Sedji, and I just graduated from the University of Michigan with a degree in neuroscience. Um, here at the Aragona Lab, I did an honors thesis, and in the fall, I'm going to medical school. So when I first started at the lab, uh, I was making electrodes, which was basically filling glass and pulling it and cutting it under a microscope. And soon after, um, I was asked to start doing uh, an honors thesis. And I was really happy to do that and excited for the experience of it. And uh, for my thesis, I examined the kappa opioid receptor system in the striatum of prairie voles. So I'll kind of break that down for you. Uh, the kappa opioid receptor system is responsible for aversive and stressful behaviors. And uh, the striatum is kind of a motivation center in the voles. So uh, you know, we wanted to figure out, first of all, what the distribution of the receptors were um, in, that, in that region, and because it hadn't been examined before. And then we also wanted to see how activation of the kappa opioid receptor system affected dopamine transmission. And the technique that we used to accomplish that was fast scan cyclic voltammetry. Uh, in fast scan cyclic voltammetry, we're able to uh, detect the concentration of dopamine that's released in a very small local area of a brain slice. Uh, so basically we have a recording and a stimulating electrode, and during a given reading we stimulate the brain slice, and the neurons expel the neurotransmitter, which is dopamine in this case, and then the resulting uh, oxidation and reduction of dopamine lets us see uh, a difference in current, and we can translate that to a concentration of dopamine. So, so what I did in my research was bathe on some uh, kappa opioid receptor agonists, so I would stimulate the kappa opioid receptors, and what we'd see is the effect on dopamine, which was a reduction in dopamine. And that was consistent with other animals, um, and uh, yeah, so it was the first look at all that stuff in the bowls.